One hot summer's morning, Cedric the tortoise was busy doing some gardening. Next door, his neighbor, Hubert Hare, was getting ready to mow his lawn. Hmm, said Cedric. What is that Hare doing? Oh dear, sounds like he's bought himself a brand new super speed mower. I think I'd better have a word with that Hare. I'll soon put a stop to that. I say, I say. Hubert was not taking any notice. I think that you. I said, I think you'd better. Oh. Cedric was not amused. Hello, Seeds. <laughs> like the new mower? <laughs> hmm. New mower, indeed. You are a very silly hare. And silly hares should not be allowed near super speed lawn mowers. Ha! <laughs> You're just jealous, cos I'm the speediest hare. Oh, no, I'm not jealous. If it comes to a race, I could beat you any time, Master Hubert Hare, replied Cedric. Hubert couldn't stop giggling at the thought of a tortoise being faster than a hare. Cedric became crosser and crosser. Right then, Hubert Hare. I will prove it to you. Be on the village green at nine o'clock tomorrow a.m. and I will race you to the old apple tree and back. Then we'll see. All right. Then see you tomorrow, then. <laughs> Next morning, quite a crowd had gathered to see the race. Some had come to cheer Cedric, and Hogwin had come to cheer his brother Hubert. Boris the Lion was to start the race with his starting pistol. Couldn't find me pistol. This blunderbuss will do just as well. Geraldine Donkey said it looked very dangerous and he should keep well away from everyone. Hubert had arrived at the start very early for a bit of last minute training. It was nearly nine o'clock, but there was no sign of Cedric. Boris announced that if Cedric didn't arrive in 10 seconds, he would have to make Hubert the winner. Cedric arrived, just in time. Right. On your marks, get set, go! <whistles> Hubert was nearly halfway round the course before Cedric had reached the first bend. It was a hot morning, and Hubert had run so fast that he thought he could do with a rest. Two minutes under the old apple tree, he thought, would be just the job and somebody had left a basket of apples by the tree. He was sure they wouldn't mind if he just had one. Meanwhile, Cedric plodded slowly along the lane, singing a little tortoise song to himself. Hubert was so greedy, he had finished off all the apples and gone to sleep. But while Hubert snoozed, Cedric still plodded on. I'm still singing my jolly little song, plodding along, plodding along. I may, I may be young. Finally, Cedric reached the finishing line, and Boris declared him the winner. Everyone cheered so much that the noise woke Hubert. He was sure that the cheering must be for him, so he thought he'd better hurry back. But everyone was laughing, not cheering. I expect they're laughing at that silly old tortoise, he thought to himself. Fancy a tortoise thinking he can beat a hare. Hubert could not believe his eyes. What does that tortoise think he's doing on the winner's stand? He said crossly to himself. Cedric is the winner, said an angry Geraldine donkey. And you, Hubert Hare, are a very greedy hare. You've eaten all my best apples. You'll have to pay me back out of your pocket money. So there. <laughs> here, here.